Allie McCallick. I'm from uh, just outside of Charlotte, North Carolina. And this is my 2022 Free Solo. I got it in January and love it. So the thing I like about my Free Solo is just the fact that I can take it off grid, go camping. I don't have to worry about finding power. Um, I just kind of made it my own. Now, for those of you who don't know, Allie and I are neighbors way down here in the cheap seats. <laughs> it's just the two of us, the campsite is huge, but we have no water or electric over here, so we have to kind of be contained. We both got our bathroom tents, even though there is a facility way, way down, down the way. There. But besides saving money, I, I think we both just enjoy the quality of campsites that we get by staying that way, having off-grid rigs. Absolutely. So, so what type of mods have you done to do that? I just have a second battery, that's all. And I'm not even sure if it's ever flipped to that yep. one or not. Um, since I'm off grid, I will use the USB ports to charge you know, my phone or whatever. Sometimes, most of the time, I just use my EcoFlow um, Delta or, power box. Yeah, yeah. Or, and I do have a solar panel for it, so I can recharge that as needed. But um, you so, know, Allie and I have been hanging out this weekend, and you know, there's multiple ways to make your trailer off grid. And some folks do it kind of like I did, spending a lot of money, a lot of solar, <laughs> high end batteries. Allie's out here doing the, the backpacking thing. I mean, everything. Well, with a very large backpack. <laughs> yeah, a very large backpack. But her solar panel is a trickle charger. It's only yep. like a 10 watt That's all it is. charger. Ooh, I'm stepping That's all right. over dogs. <laughs> um, so the idea is she's just not using it. She don't have to make it. Uh, right. <laughs> she's just uh, not going through a lot of the capacity on those batteries. Now you told me you never have trouble. You haven't run them down? Yeah. Not to my knowledge. Yeah, well you'd know yeah. about it. They, <laughs> I would know about start. it. And usually I've already taken them down, but I'll have, you know, solar lights, you know, that go around um, the awning and then solar motion detection lights, you know, so that when I come out, I'm not tripping and falling over the route like I did the other day. <laughs> so. No, these little gadgets are getting so handy and they hold up now. They used to work one or two times. Now they, they actually last. Oh yeah, and a lot of times I'll just um, tuck them in my windshield on my way to camp so they're charged yeah, you know, when I get there. I love it. We do the same thing. Did you get a Lucy light, one of those little inflatable ones? I don't have a Lucy light. No. Um, I have, you know, just cheaper ones. Yeah, that thing sits on our dashboard. Yeah, I'm cheap too, but it sits on my <laughs> dashboard while I'm driving. Yeah. Now, the other thing that stands out to me, yep, exactly. This was always my preference over the awnings. The awning, which I do have, I've just never used. This is a first for me. I know a lot of people that like the canopies, but you actually have an awning. It came with your trailer and you're not using it. Right. So, and it is a, a the Thule. So, I it's mean, a it's, a, it's a good one. I just, uh, I don't want a room. Mm -hmm. You know, I do have side panels that I can put up if need be, but uh, I prefer not to have them. I don't want to feel closed in. That's why I'm out here. Exactly, exactly. But, um, but I do have it um, if I need it and decide to start using it. Well, I, yeah, and, and you could move this around the other side if you wanted and oh, use the absolutely. awning. Oh, absolutely, doors on know. both sides. Yeah, and so I, I like the versatility and you know, to each their own, I think there's something to be said about these but for me, it's the higher ceiling, being able to hang things, you right. can move it around. And I think it's easier to set these up at home if they have to dry out. Oh gosh, Than yeah. to, to, you know, try to open up your awning, awning in the garage. But, you right. know, like I said, I think there's something to be said about both, but I, I think we're kindred spirits on that one. And then since I knew that I would just be boondocking um, with mine, the air conditioner comes out the side and has a, a vent that goes over it. Well, I just took the air conditioner out. And this is a max air fan cover that would normally be on top. And I had them put it on. It's got a, um, a grate on the inside so wasp and stuff can't get in. And then it has the original grate that would have been on the outside of the air conditioner on the inside. 
So I have that space now as storage and also as airflow. So if it's a bad storm and I can't have my top vent open, um, I just pop a fan up there and you know use that to circulate the air. See, for me, this is really slick, and I think you're going to get a lot of people's attention with this one. So as a pure off-grid user, a lot of people have dropped the AC. It makes a nice base cabinet or a yes, nice wall does. cabinet on the inside, but you're still stuck with the problem of it being exposed to the elements. I've seen people cut pieces of plastic and different things to cover it up. This is a, I'll try to get some close-ups. It's a Max Air cover. There's no nope. fan in there. There's no fan. But it's just cut around and sealed around the stock. So this could come off. Right. This yes, is and the, uh, the louver she was talking about. I have it so that if I need to put my air conditioner back in, you know, it's, and I wouldn't even have to take this off. No, it, it would still work. But, and now uh, she can put a fan inside there, get uh, some excellent, cross ventilation mm -hmm. when you're in there it's sealed from the weather yep. but all the other times you have a really nice place to store things right i love it i love yep. it i love it um, so this over here is like the hasika just know. a lot cheaper yeah okay <laughs> yeah, we're like i said we're cut from the same cloth with this stuff how have you liked this oh it works great and it does have a piece that you know hangs or blocks you sure. know the the sun if you need but you know, it's been folded up there all weekend. My trip down here, seeing so many bushwhackers, I'm seeing how common this is. This is something that I never did, um, but it, it's nice. It, it adds a nice little space back here. These were invented, for anyone who doesn't know, to actually go over the lift gates of cars. Which is what I originally bought it for. Yeah. It does uh, prevent the rain from dripping in on this side as it comes off the the back i see that yeah you know it drips down there and i see that you're going with the suction cups yes and the suction cups i'll try to find a link for those because i know people will like that it's nicer than putting like an adhesive uh like a 3m or something those come right off right yeah Very well nice. i do have one of those on the other side that i used to hang my um dog leash on. I, I do the same thing. I have the, the command hooks and uh, they've yep. been on there for a couple of years, winter, summer, they're, they, it's they, amazing. Yep, it's they really stick. surprised me. So this is a mod. Tell um, me what you got there. This is one of those screens that you see a scene on TV, you know, and it has the Velcro on the top and, you know, it opens, it goes back. But the, I got the ones with the magnets, so it closes behind it. Um, and then the Velcro's on the inside across and then a couple pieces down here so that it keeps it sealed. But it's also got the weights on the bottom to you know, keep it hanging down. I just tuck it in the step and then you, know, you just push and do whatever you need and, and it allows me more airflow with it open. And most of the time that's the way I sleep too with it you know, wide open. Well, that, I mean, it's nice. It's a really nice mod and it's a lot more than you would get out of just opening your window. It feels Absolutely. a lot more like tent camping. Absolutely. But it is clear to me, having been on the road and spent a lot of time in a teardrop that you, in fact, have a lot of the experience. If you just got this trailer, where was your experience prior to owning a teardrop? Car camping and tent camping. That's, so we were looking at her tow vehicle. She's she set up for car camping and she knows how to do it. So I've always said, and I've heard other people say, when you come from car camping or tent camping to teardrop camping, it feels like the lap of luxury. Yes. If you're coming from a giant airstream and, and coming down to a teardrop, yeah. that's when I think a lot more people have, uh, have trouble with it. And then another thing with the free solo, we just walked right by it. It comes with a two inch, um, oh, ho, ho. I'm glad you brought us back. And then for I this. got an adapter and then this table, you can adjust the, um, you know, whether it's straight up or at a slant or even one lower and it just stays on when I travel, you know, it turns, you know, horizontally. So, um, I love it. This, so the it free makes solo all the comes with the rear receiver hitch. She 
uh, converted it to two inch. And I've seen a lot of people do that for bike racks and exactly. different things, but to extend your galley space with this, and this is quite sturdy and it can adjust to level when it you're can. on different situations. Um, and as you add another battery, we were talking about this earlier, this is also a way to reduce tongue weight. Yes. So if, if you're extending something out of the back of your trailer, you wanna make sure it's balanced, but with an extra lead acid battery, you have some room to spare back here. Right, so. and as far as mods on the inside, I haven't done any, um, except for you know the space where the air conditioner was up there in the corner. So we got some excellent storage here, some personal touch, which is always nice. And all of these things are mods. We all, you know, these little tension rods and things oh. that we use. Okay, I, I told you a story then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's... And with me, uh, usually I'm camping by myself. So in the winter, in order to avoid the heater situation, I just scoop my bed to this side <laughs> and then Oh, I love that. Yeah, I just switch back and forth. Why no, not? And you got extra storage and some versatility. You sleep on the driver's side, sleep on the passenger mm -hmm. side. Yeah, the extra storage. In fact, the store, underbed storage, the very back one opens this way. And I just leave it open and my battery boxes fit in there and I can get to them. They're not sloshing all around while I'm driving. Nice. Well, I've really enjoyed this and I've enjoyed being your neighbor. So, uh, <laughs> my pleasure. <laughs> yeah. Now, speaking of battery boxes, I'd like to close with one thing. We've had this conversation. Um, I think a lot of people might be helped by this. So let's, let's talk power stations for a second. So another thing that Allie and I do similarly is we use power stations to extend our capacity more than onboard storage. But Ali actually went through a situ situation that I have warned a lot of people about on the channel, and this is the first time I've been able to have an actual example to show you it. This Patriot brand power station is the worst power station that I have ever <laughs> used. Um, people ask me about it all the time. They spend millions of dollars on marketing. They market on my channel. They run commercials for these power stations. It's no good. Um, they're using inferior components. They charge a lot more for what you're getting. And it, when I saw that you had it, I, I asked how you made out. What was your response? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, in the long run, I made out like a bandit. But meanwhile, um, it did come with a solar panel. But of course, they have different adapters. So you have to have their adapter to go between the box and the solar panel. Well, mine did not come with that. So it took me months and months and months of trying to get that. And they would send me one, but it was never the right one. So I wasn't able to utilize it other than charging it at home. So in addition to this, if you are a power station nerd, they have like MPPTs that don't actually track. They cut off at like 80 watts, 100 watts, depending on the unit. Um, and if you're looking at it like dollar per watt hour, it's the most expensive unit on the market. So they tell you they'll send you food and flashlights and all this stuff. <laughs> But the actual product that they're, yeah, yeah. there's the solar powered power station. How Which did that work? Which is crap. Yeah, it doesn't it's, work. No, it doesn't work either. But the part that I thought was most amazing <laughs> is when she said she made out with like a bandit. She was so unsatisfied with this power station in fear of her leaving a negative review, an honest review, they gave her an EcoFlow Max. It's a River Max. With 100 watt panel so they gave her one of the best With power stations wonderful. <laughs> uh yeah of course you love that one of the best power stations in its class but they're not affiliated this company literally bought her a different brand's power station because they're afraid of the negative reviews that are going to come when people find out that their marketing is better than their product right and you know they also market that they're a family company and in fact, the they, many times I was on hold with them, they were, you know, please accept our apologies. Our wait time is longer because we're a family company. We're right. small, blah, 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 blah. Well, that was just 
you know, a ploy. Yeah. But um, so I use this one for the USB, you know, to run a fan or, you know, recharge my phone. Yeah. Um, this one, I use my electric kettle if I need to or yeah, exactly. anything else. And so just from the user experience, now I want to be super clear here. This is just our opinions and we are not Absolutely. <laughs> trying to uh, slander any company. What we want to do is help people out. And this is something that I've heard so many times that it was the first time I had a camera to show you that uh, somebody that was new to power stations ended up with this unit and was very, very disappointed, so. Right, and well, to be honest, I haven't been able to utilize this enough to, to have any of the other issues. I just wasn't able to recharge it yeah. out. <laughs> which is know, a pretty key which is why element I got it. to <laughs> right. having a power station. So, but you've been happy with this one. Oh my gosh, this, this is worth its weight in gold. And when your power goes out at home and you want to go car camping and you want to bring your fridge to a barbecue, you don't have to drag the bushwhacker or right. the free solo along with you. So. Um, and actually our power did go out and was out for quite a while and my husband was on call and he was like, I guess I'm going to have to go charge my phone up in the car. I was like, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I think that uh, besides showing people a really cool way to get outdoors, I'm hoping that we save some people money today. So thank you so much. My pleasure. And I had a lot of fun. <laughs>